Welcome everyone. Let's have this one. How to use Desmos for artwork. So technically, I'm not creating an artwork here. However, I'm going to give you a strategy on how to use Desmos and how to make some features of Desmos to be used in order for you to create an artwork. Okay? Okay, everyone, so this is how you're going to use now Desmos if you want to make some artwork. So let's have it. So let me just log in my account for a while. So just want to make it sure that I have my own account. So I'm going to use my account here. So if ever you, if you have your account, you can use now this one. So I'm going to put my graphing calculator. So let's go on the basic and how to work on with that. So... I wasn't able to use this one. However, let's have this one. Okay. The first thing that I want you to learn is that you can put an image inside Canvas. Okay. Let's have that. So here you have you see now the plus sign. So you can now check that you can insert an image there. So let me just select an image. So that's an image. So let me check it here. So I want to put my picture there. So I'm putting now my picture. So now, my picture is now inside Canvas. So that's one thing that you can work that out on Canvas. Okay? So that's it. So another thing that you can work that out is, um, let's go on putting some lines, right? So lines is important. So for example, I have here a line, which is y is equal to 2x minus 4. So, I just want a line that is working on between this point, which is the intercept and this point, right? So, let me just have that. So, how will I make the line? Because the line is continuous, right? Y is equal to 2x minus 4. So, if I want to make it, like, not continuous, you know, make a braces, and then you're going to put now your inequality. So, it would be from 0 is less than or equal to x so that you will have now your x so it was been divided now it's equal to uh, it's less than or equal to 2 so that is now the limitation of that's now the limit of now your of your line so another detail on how to work that out you see now this is the setting mark you can edit here and you can put it you can now change the color so from this one you can make it red blue green orange purple black and then if you want to make it a little bit um on the sh uh what call this on uh, making it a little bit bigger so you can put now the shade or into this one and i'm gonna put it at five you see it turns out to be different now if i make it a little bit then you're able to see so that's now what it works so if I, i'm gonna use now five okay so another, so you're going to click done. Another, if you want to make some point. So for example, I want a point like negative 3, comma 6. So negative 3, comma 6. Oh, no, let me just have it 4 so that you would see it, right? So if you would see it there, so that's now. Again, if you're going to use now the setting... You can also make this one in different color, so red, blue, and then you can make it in a mark. So I wanted to make it 15, so a little bit bigger, right? So one point, right? So that's how it works. So, so it's up to you and how you're gonna make your creativity. So let's have another one. So what if I want to have a curve? So I have here x squared. So it's a parabola. Minus four. So, I just want to make it like on the limit. Or I want to put it here from negative 2 to 2. So, once again, the braces would have negative 2. is less than or equal to x. But less than or equal to 2. So, you would see now that the graph would be on that limit. So, it, that works. So, those are some things that you can work that out. So, how about if you want to make a circle? Again, the equation of circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to, let's say, the radius is 5, right? 
So 5 times 5, that would be 25. So that's how it works. So once again, the technique you're not going to work on is ongoing settings. So you'll have now its specification, which is color, and how would it be on its thickness. So I want to make it like 15. Alright? So I can make now a uh, ice there, so I can have negative 2, 2. And I have another one. Let's have 2, 2. So I'm going to work that out. Change this the color. So I made now a smile. And then I'm going to work that out on 20. And this one as well that on 20 so it's up to you on how you're gonna work that out so that's just a simple artwork it's just like a smiley so you can work it in so it's better if you know your analytic geometry so you can have your conic sections you can graph that in that form okay I hope you can create an artwork in Desmos. So thank you for watching and please do try making an artwork in Desmos. It's so fun. It can, you can create that in that manner. Okay. Thank you very much.